Hello, this is Mr. Painter with another fabulous Excel tutorial. Today we're working on AA14 graph, a horizontal or vertical line. Now let's go briefly over a few notes that may be helpful to you so we can go ahead and get started. All right. Now, generally when we have a Y equals something, this is going to be a line that goes either to the right or to the left. But the main thing here is that the line is going to be horizontal. Now, if you have an X equals something, this is going to be a line that goes up or down. This is also known as a uh, vertical. So in this case, because we have a line that is Y equals two on the Y axis, we're going to find positive two, which is going to be right here. Now, what this means here is when it comes to an ordered pair, they have given you the Y value of two. Now, the X value is anything you want it to be. So for an example, you can make it one, two. You can do, let's say three, but the two guys stay. You can also do like say negative four and positive two. But the key here is that the two must always fall in the Y slot. And when the X value is not given, you make it to whatever you want it to be. Now, what's gonna be interesting is all these numbers that just came up are all gonna be linear. So for an example, one comma two is gonna to be to the right one up two, which lands right here. So now we got two points in a row. Now, I did say it would be linear, which means these points should also be in part of that row. So what about three? comma two, one, two, three, up two, one, two, lands right here. There we go, three in a row. Now, negative four, two is to the left. So we can say negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, up two, one, two. And notice that we just basically need a line going horizontal through y equals two. So that's going to be the, the name of the game here. So when you have a Y value equal to two, just draw a line through two. And if it's an X value equals a number, just vertically up and down, go through that number. All right. So with that being said, I think you get the point. Let's go ahead and do this. So Y equals two there. Now notice I can click anywhere left or right. It doesn't matter. So I'll go all the way left and click there. And notice I got my horizontal line going left to right. So we're going to go ahead and submit that. All right, next up, we got X equals negative five. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find X equals negative five, negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, negative five. And remember, X equals is a line going straight up and down. It doesn't matter where this other point goes as long as the line is perfectly vertical. There means there could be no slope. Speaking of slope, when a line goes straight up and down perfectly, this is also called undefined slope. There we go. Okay, next we have x equals three. So find x equals three, one, two, three, and just make it go vertical through x equals three. Next we have x equals negative eight, negative one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and negative eight right there. And make the line go vertical through negative eight. And x equals positive eight. So go right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, lands right there. And again, doesn't matter where you click as long as the line is perfectly straight up and down. Probably one of the easiest I excels ever. Uh, y equals negative six, down, negative one, two, three, four, and negative five and six. So it needs to be through negative six. And this is a line going horizontal. Y equals 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and just make it horizontal. Next up, x equals 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Again, vertical. Next up, x equals 5. Ooh, never mind. x equals 50. Forgot that zero there. So notice that each box is by 10s 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 and a line going straight up and down through 50. Now notice that 50 is not on the number line. So you have to know that 50 is exactly between 40 and 60. It's called the midpoint. 
So that's how we got that. Uh, y equals seven. Also notice that seven is not labeled, but just know it's between six and eight. And this is going to be a horizontal line there. Next up, y equals one, up one, make the line flat. Also called horizontal. Y is equal to negative 60. So negative, it goes by tens, negative 10, negative 20, negative 30, negative 40, negative 50, negative 60. Make the line again go vertical. And I was counting the X. <laughs> Good one. All right. Y equals 90, so this is a vertical, so I'm going to go on the Y. Uh, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. So I'm being more careful now because I got a little bit too fast on the last one. So uh, Y equals 90 right there. So it is horizontal, just like my notes right here. Next, Y equals negative 7, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, negative 6, negative 7 there. Make it horizontal there next up y equals 50 10 20 30 40 50 make it horizontal and y equals 8 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 make it horizontal again doesn't matter where you click as long as it's flat and last but not least y equals 70 by 10s, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. Make it flat. And this takes us to a smart score of 82. Thank you and have a great day.